What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be bringing you some predictions for the Alliance of American Football League. So in my last video, I talked a little bit about my takeaways from week one, things that I loved about the league, things that I didn't like so much, as well as just some insight on the teams, coaches, and players. Also dropped a few stat for you guys, stats for you guys. But today, I've actually brought on somebody to kind of be my guest picker, so to speak. Tell them a little bit about your, your channel. So, uh, guys, my, my channel is Life with Four Wheel Drive uh, on YouTube. Uh, I've got it on the Facebook and Instagram. And really, what that channel is all about is four wheel drive vehicles, four wheel drive uh, uh, events, and pretty much everyday use of four wheel drive. Four wheel drive lifestyle. Always, altogether. every day. By the way, guys, if you ever want to see a GoPro have a near death experience, be sure and check out his page. He has plenty of those. I'll also throw his information in the description below. But today, we are on to week two of the league. And I was going to say, week one was some heck of a hits last week. <laughs> well, I mean, you guys already know. Berkovici hit. That was yeah. That was the sack heard around the world, folks. <laughs> Definitely. I think the NFL felt that one. <laughs> All right, guys, so the first matchup for week two is the Salt Lake Stallions versus the Birmingham Iron. Yep. Um, the game is going to be – Birmingham's a home team, so that game is going to be at Legion Field. 2 p.m. Eastern on that, and TNT is going to have the TV coverage. And don't forget, guys, you can stream every game in this league from the app or from the website. Um, just had him download the app. Uh, check it out. I know that it has some of its bugs right now, but I believe that they're working through those. Yeah. I kind of projected that. They held that back for a long time. It came out just a few days before the league started. So definitely some bugs in it, but you can stream. I, I did stream successfully over the weekend, um, but let's jump into the game. <clears throat> I also, too, real quick, I, I, I did some uh, searching on the reviews of it, of the app. People were saying that, it, you know, uh, a lot better than when it first came out. So now week two, supposed to have a lot more things ironed out on that app. So. I think everybody has some experience under their yeah. belt. The fans, the players, the officials, the whole yeah. nine yards. Yep. Um, but Salt Lake Stallions, uh, they went down against Arizona, probably the game of the week, the first week. It was a shootout, both teams back and forth. But in that game, you'll know Josh Woodrum went down with a hamstring in injury in the second quarter. So back up, Linehan had to come in. Yep. Don't know the status of him for this week, so I don't know if he's going to start or if Linehan's going to start. Either way, I think they'll be in good shape. Um, Birmingham's defense, though, they pitched, a, they pitched a shutout. Yeah. Pitched a shutout. They yeah. played lights out. Like I said last week, guys, super sound tackling. I was, I was impressed by their tackling. Very, very few missed tackles on that team. Yes. Um, it's going to be a good game. This is probably, probably going to be the game to watch for Saturday. It's going to um, have my attention for sure. For sure, for sure. I'm going to watch them all, but this one I'm definitely going to keep my eye on. I, won't, I don't want to give you guys any predictions predictions until the very end we're going to save those to the end yep so next up we've got the arizona hot shots and the memphis express this game memphis is going to be the home team in this so they have their first home game for the season um that's going to be at memorial stadium 8 p.m eastern and that one's going to be on nfl network this one i don't know what to expect in this one um well i kind of know what to expect in this one arizona's <laughs> probably going to blow blow these guys out um, so, as you know, <laughs> Arizona lit up Salt Lake. Um, it was a back-and-forth game. John Wolford, player of the week, offensive player of the week. My man had four. Count them. One, two, three, four touchdowns in that game. No interceptions. Clean sheet. Um, I kind of expect the same against Memphis. Yeah. Same Me here. Memphis did not look good at all against the Iron. No, they did not. Uh, Hackenberg, I don't even know if he's going to be the starter this week. Um this doesn't look good. I hope that I hope that Singletary comes with a little bit different scheme. I had talked a little bit last week about them needing to run the football, keep the offense off the field. They're definitely going to have to do that because if they go three and out, three and out, three and out, put that defense out against Wol Wolford, yeah. he's going to light them up. It's yep. going to be a long day. Long day. It will be. All right, so that wraps up for Saturday's games. <clears throat> so Sunday, we've got two key matchups Sunday. History is going to be made either way. Um... The first game is against the Orlando Apollos at the San Antonio Commanders. 
That's going to be at the Alamo Dome, and it looks like we've got 4 p.m. Eastern time for that. CBS Sports Network's carrying that game. This one has my heart, has my interest as a Commanders fan, fellow Commanders fan. Commanders. This is going to be a good game in my opinion. So, as we know, Garrett Gilbert lit it up week one against Atlanta. <laughs> they looked hot on both sides of the ball. 40-6 yeah. to six was the final in that game last week, so these guys can definitely score some points. Defense gets around really well. But let's flip over to the commander's side of the ball. They had an okay game. Um, of course, we do know the hit hurt around the world. Oh, yeah. Kirk Vici got rocked. Oh, yeah. If they hit Garrett Gilbert like that, that's definitely going to set the tone again. <laughs> yeah. um, I was most impressed by that crowd. Yeah. They, they had a huge crowd, um, huge turnout, and I, I expect the same. Possibly, and I'm going to leave this as a little nugget for you guys later, that possibly could be the difference maker in the game. This game is played in San Antonio, home crowd advantage, especially if the defense gets at them early. Hey, but you know, those Texas boys love some football. They do. They do. And they love seeing those hits, too. They do. That, that place, I was, I was at home watching it on TV, and when that hit happened, that place was loud. Oh, and yeah. they didn't even have the upper, the upper deck was closed mm -hmm. off. That was just the lower level. It was yep. loud. Loud. So, that's game three. Um, like I said, history is going to be made in this one because one of these teams is going to get their first loss. This is two 1 0 teams going head to head. Yep. Somebody's going home a loser today. Exactly. All right, guys, so to round out week two, um, our nightcap of, nightcap of the week is going to be the Atlanta Legends at the San Diego Fleet. So this yep. will be San Diego's home opener. Yep. Uh, that game's going to be at San Diego County Credit Union Stadium, 8 p.m. Eastern um, on NFL Network. History is going to be made in this one, guys. It is. So we have two winless teams, so somebody has to come away with a victory. Somebody's got to step up, make a play. Somebody's going to win. Somebody's going to have their very first win. What's your breakdown on this one? My breakdown this week is going to be uh, is, is Mike Martz. He's going to change up the guards a little bit. We're going to take uh, Berkovici uh, out up this week, and we're going to put in Philip Nelson. Uh, last week, Ber Berkovici had a terrible game with – with six sacks and then uh, and and uh, yeah, two interceptions. Two interceptions. Uh, so I don't know how you're gonna win with that. Plus, also that that sack he got, he might a little shook up this week. So he's I gonna... will give him credit. I mean, he popped back up right afterwards, and even Nelson in the post game press conference talked about Berkovici's toughness. So yeah. I don't think it's a lack of toughness. I just think that Mike Martz runs a co complex offense, and Berkovici is just not clicking for yeah, him. No. So. So we're going to have Philip Nelson this week, and, and hopefully it's going to click for Philip Nelson, and we'll be able to see a lot more better play on the, on, on the field with him. So tell us a little bit about that fleet defense. So Demontre Moore had a great week last week. He had 10 tackles, 1.5 sacks, and then he also had uh, – he was able to touch the quarterback six times last week, so he was definitely rocking that backfield. Yeah, he was all over the field. They're yes. going to have, they're gonna need a big game from him. Oh, yeah, definitely. And if, if they're looking for that W this week, they are going to need him to step up and do a great job this week. So now with Atlanta, <clears throat> Atlanta has uh, – their quarterback right now is uh, – or last week their quarterback was Matt Sims. Matt Sims uh, didn't have that great of a game, so he's going to get changed out with uh, Aaron Murray this week. Hometown hero. Hometown hero. He's a Georgia boy, man. He's going to be – He's going to be pumped, amped up, ready to rock and roll this week. So, Which, if you guys remember, I actually thought that he was going to be the starter for week one. Yeah. Um, I don't know what happened there. I guess he got beat out in the quarterback competition. Yeah. But if you remember, this team also, Brad Childress was going to be their head coach. Yeah. That's kind of the whole reason that Murray wanted to play. He wanted to play for Childress. Childress ended up retiring, so yep. I don't know if that had anything to do with him not, not starting in week one, mm -hmm. but it looks like he's got the reins this week. Yeah, he does. So there's a telling stat in this game. Yeah, there is. Uh, this, th these two teams have never been in the end zone, so they're going to be seeking their first end zone appearance this weekend. So if not, we're in for another kick fest. I <laughs> hope that somebody can get in the end zone. But both of these teams, I mean, we have brand new quarterbacks, yep. brand new yep. starters on both sides of the field, so kind of a clean slate. So like I said, somebody's got to come away with a W in that. Now, on to our predictions time for week it. two. It has come to that time. So first up, we have the we have Salt Lake at Birmingham. Who you got? Salt Lake. Why? I think that um, that last week's game was kind of just, you know, the intro of the of the season. I think they're going to really kind of show who they are. Uh, Coming off the first, you know, first week of the season, getting into the second week, they're really more focused to try to get that W. Precursor, I like it. I'm going to go opposite of you. I'm going to take Birmingham Iron, and I'm going to take the Iron because of their defense. Yeah. Um, the question mark at quarterback position for Salt Lake. 
Um, if they if Salt Lake has their starter, I think it'll be a lot more competitive. But I think that the Birmingham Irons defense will do enough in this one to come away with the win. Plus, they're at home and they run the ball well. So between running game, defense, I think it'll keep Salt Lake off the field enough, and they will come away with the W this week. Next up, we have Arizona at Memphis. I'm going to go with uh, with Arizona. Okay. Why? Uh, and the reason with uh, Arizona is um, the quarterback. Walford the stud. Yeah, he is a stud, and I, I just I just think they're gonna they're gonna rock it. They're plus also they're they're the number one team in the league. So come on. I can't go against that. Um, I wish that Memphis would have had a better outing week one. I might have leaned more their way, yeah. um, but I, I believe that they're going to get blown out at home. Yeah. Um, the only way, the only way that they keep this close, take my advice, they have to run the football. They have yeah. to make this a possession game. Make Wolford where he doesn't have the ball very much, very few possessions, but if they go three and out, three and out, three and out, Wolford's going to have another career day. He's yeah. going to light them up. Yep. All right, on to Sunday's games. We have Orlando at San Antonio. Well, of course. San Antonio. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> oh! All right, well, what's your reasoning? Uh, I just I feel that um, San Antonio really, uh, again, they're, 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 they're going to go for that, that W. I mean, they're the second week in the, in, the, in the league. I mean, they're just they're really just going to go and bring it all out. I mean, first week gets you jitters. Second week, you iron it out. And you just... Go in for the end. I respect that. I think everybody across the board should look a lot better because yeah. they've had another week under yeah. their belt. Well, especially with this with this league. I mean, you know, first time ever being out there. Yep. I mean, there was a lot of hype for the first game. Oh yeah. So I mean, you got a lot of pressure. Uh, so the second game, they're just gonna level out, get things back in order, and head on in. I'm taking San Antonio as well, but. Not for the reason that you think. I'm not picking San Antonio just because they're my team. I'm picking San Antonio because of two reasons. One, the game is at San Antonio. So home, hometown, home crowd advantage is going to be huge. Like I said, they get after Gilbert early. You best believe that place is going to be rocking. Mm -hmm. And I said this in my, my preseason picks, my preseason predictions. This offense looked the most crisp in preseason. Yes, they did struggle a little bit against the fleet, but to touch base on your point, it was week one. Still ironing out some of those kinks. Yep. I think that they'll get it together, and I think we're going to see how explosive this wide receiver core for the Commanders can be. Going to be a close one, but I'm going with the Commanders. Commanders all the way. Nightcap game. We've got Atlanta at San Diego. Who you got? I'm taking um, – I'm going to take San Diego. And the reason why I'm taking San Diego is because we're going to see quarterback change. We're going to see – Hopefully a better game this week. Last week, I mean, just, again, first week, you know, jitters, they just had issues. So this week they're going to see a lot better uh, a lot better results, hopefully, out of their, uh, their, their quarterback. I'm going to go with San Diego as well. Um, again, I think that San Diego's defense is better than Atlanta. That did. Um, so I believe that their defense is going to put a lot of pressure on Atlanta. Even with Aaron Murray coming in, I think there's still question marks there. Don't get me wrong, San Diego could very easily lose this game. Um, Nelson is the starter, so there is a little bit of a change there. But, again, he didn't look the greatest against San Antonio either. Mm -hmm. Hopefully with that hometown, home crowd advantage, they can get something going. Bonus pick, who scores first in this game? Let me rephrase that. Who scores their first touchdown in this game? I'm going to say uh, San Diego does. Going with San Diego. Well, I, really I just do. talked about how I think that San Diego's defense is better than Atlanta, so I'm going to have to go with San Diego as well. I hope that Atlanta gets their first touchdown in this game, but, again, I'm going with San Diego. That wraps it up for week two. Anything you want to leave them with? No, it's just going to be a great week. Uh, I'm looking forward to the games. I'm looking forward to see uh, some more results from hopefully a great week. All right, guys, that's all we have for this one. I want to leave you with this, though. Let me know in the comments section if you like this style of video. I want to bring out these, these predictions or predictions every week to you guys. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have a guest picker on every week or not, but this is something I wanted to try and throw around. What you got? I was going to say that, uh, you know, I, we'd love to hear from you. What do you think? Yeah, Are jump in the comments section and let me know your picks. Who do you think is going to win in week two? Yeah. We've told you our picks. 
Let me know what, what your thoughts are. And don't just say, oh, I'm going to pick this team because this is who I go for. I want to know. I, I'm, I'm a football guy. I like the, the X's and O's. Tell me why. Tell me what, what's your thought on the reasoning behind why you're going with these teams. Yep. But that's all I got for this one, guys. Like I said, be sure and check out this man's channel, Life of Four Wheel Drive. I'm going to link his information in the description below. I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for all that you do. Without your support, none of this is possible. Mm -hmm. I'm out.